Hi, welcome. Thank you for choosing to learn a little bit more about Imago. What's going to happen to you is you're going to go through basically what an Imago lesson looks like. We're going to tell you who we are, kind of the people we work with, uh, and just a few of the details that we feel like would be really important for you to know about us. So who is Imago? Well, we consider ourselves lifelong learners, shenanigators, and creators. We want to infuse social-emotional learning into all ways that we think about success. And that matters because we know that this is necessary for us to navigate this complex and challenging world. And we do this two ways. We do this through our digital curricula and platform, and we have over 250 lessons on topics like resilience, adaptability, lifelong learning, those leadership skills, those kind of things. Secondly, we add in professional development to make sure that the facilitators who are using our digital curricula feel real confident about talking about things that they're not traditionally or classically trained to do. I wanted to share with you the Imago lens when it comes to social emotional learning. And it's similar to the Castle Core Competency Models, but except for we added the global awareness. We break our lessons and our topics into these six component parts. Because if you say, hey, just develop the whole human, it's kind of hard and maybe a daunting task. For example, self-awareness, if you really wanted to drill down, we have lessons on heuristics, self-awareness, and self-control. And we're excited to share the impact that we're having in education. We work with large school districts across the nation. We work with hundreds of thousands of learners on an annual basis. And the thing that's most exciting is the reports or the outcomes that we're seeing. Learners are more motivated to learn. They understand their future options better and more clearly, which is a great indicator of pathway success as well as motivation and attendance. And then finally, they're able to apply skills immediately. And another project we're working on right now is around access, inclusion, equity, and diversity. We're the core trainer and curricula for ACTE's uh, mentorship program. Also, the work that we do can be recognized by government agencies and is part of many regions' workforce readiness certificates. Here you'll see the lessons that we have. And uh, these aren't your traditional lessons that you'll see, but they're very important for human development today. Facilitator guides, again, these are think ahead of questions. These are activities that you could do in the classroom. Some of them use post-it notes. And again, they, they help support the overall learning of the concept. Now, it's important to note that the lessons are designed to kind of meet today's learners where they want to learn, how they want to learn. Very short snippets, inviting them into the conversation, and you'll see that here. Um, but that's just for the learner side. When it comes to the educator side or the facilitator side, think about it as this is a pre-packaged lesson that could be delivered turnkey immediately without any kind of pre-work required. Imagine playing the lessons just straight through without doing any pre-work for an educator. Steve Jobs, Ariana Huffington, Walt Disney, Oprah Winfrey, Mark Zuckerberg, J.K. Rowling, Elon Musk, and Ellen DeGeneres are all successful people. Some are widely acclaimed authors, actresses, and business owners. Others are innovators who built long-standing companies like Apple, Huffington Post, Disney, Facebook, and Tesla. But other than building big companies and being successful in their fields, what did they all have in common? Was it wealth? Merit? Were they smarter than everyone else? No, not really. What they all share is their ability to accept failure as a learning experience. They were all resilient when it came to obstacles and challenges. I think Benjamin Franklin said it best. I didn't fail, I just learned 100 ways on how to not do it. After the videos, we have study guide questions that invite the learner into the conversation. And this is all great data that, that you can see as a facilitator, but also it helps the students kind of get their thoughts on paper. And this becomes theirs that they can take away and look back upon in later dates. We're not gonna finish the lesson, but I just wanted to point out that there's a menu with more study guides and more slides that goes all the way down and it has a conclusion slide. Those are our lessons. Now we have a robust reporting feature that allows you to drill down to student answers so you can have deeper conversations one-on-one -on -one or in a classroom, maybe Socratic style. And now I'd like to share an educator's experience on the Mago. When we switched to online teaching, I really didn't have the usual student to work with. I had students who were a little frazzled. I had students who were a little scared. And so to, to go with a typical lesson 
was not going to work. I decided, you know what? This is so much more relevant to what's happening in, in the lives of my students today because I found topics like resilience, self-awareness. Uh, I found topics like accountability, introspection, and there's a more of a social emotional component that's very hard to, to ever reach if you're doing just academic work. I actually not quite sure how, how I would have gotten through without it because it's hard um, during a time of crisis to do the typical thing. So it's been, it's been very helpful. Well, that concludes our quick lesson on Imago. I hope you enjoy the time. If you're interested in learning more or you're interested peaked, we would invite you to fill out the form or email us and we can get some time on the calendar to talk more. Thank you.